Hello and welcome. Welcome to today's live stream tutorial. Today we are going to be drawing Toffee uh, from Star vs. the Forces of Evil. So what I started with, um, as you can see, I've already gotten started with um, a rough draft of uh, the pose, what this character is going to be. Um, so what I started with, I started with a, a circle for the head. And then added added a plus here for my guidelines for where the eyes, nose, mouth will be. But the interesting part about Toffee is that he's um, he's part he's a part lizard, so he has an uh, um, what's the word elongated or you know like his you know he has a rather long mouth. So I put a so I put a box in front of his face. Where like just here from the line that I just made before the plus, I have the ends of the box here and here and here. And then give it dimensions here. That way I have a general idea about um the length uh the length that I'm gonna like, make his mouth. So the reference image that I'm using for this is the um, that scene where he says "surprise," where like he actually has some teeth uh, showing. Because I think that, like at least this way, I'll be able to show you guys a couple of cool tricks. Um, at least for doing um, toning inside the mouths of like animals and whatever. Okay. So from the circle here. Add a long neck. Then add like a box here. Or a sideways box. That way this is where the suit is going to be. We're doing mostly like a head shot, which is like the head and uh, shoulders and up. Got a placement of the sh of the shoulders here, of the arms, the armpits. Adding like that line that's in like, um, you know, suits have like that one line that's very noticeable. Gonna add that. Add this section in the neck here, that seam. Wait. Having some of the suit show up in the back. I'm leaving space for the collar. And then I'm adding his little tie. Maybe I'll, I think I'll make the suit go a little lower down. I'm having his arms sort of like um, in the middle of his chest here, so he's doing like this sort of pose with his hands, where like his hands are just interlocked, or maybe something like this, but reversed. Like I'm give, I'm trying to give him a bit of an expressive pose. 
Because, like, obviously in that scene, like, it's the first time he, you know, it's like, it's obviously he's a villain. He's waited a very long time for, like, a certain moment to happen. And once he got it, he's, like, uh, showing so much glee. But, like, he's, he's evil in a way, you know. It's like he shows his true colors. Okay. And now we're going to add the uh, the collar of the suit here. Alright, I should have one of his fingers missing. And it's like uh, the middle finger. Oh, when he's only got three fingers, so I guess I'll take like a finger off. All sharpening is uh, sharpen out his fingers so that they look more claw-like. You know what, maybe I'll just make it four fingers, because it looks a little weird when it's just three. Okay, and I'm adding a couple of wrinkles here and there, right about, right around the armpits of the suit. And now I'll move up here, because this the suit's a very simple design, so there's not much detail detail we need to add on here. So we're done with that. Now, using the guideline that I made before, here with the plus on the face, I place the eyes, and then I'm going to have right here, move down to the ends here the end of the box here and this is where the snout uh, the nose will be And I'm slowly rounding out his face. I'm giving him his evil smile. And then making room here for his nose or his nose holes. And then I'm having the bottom of the mouth sink in with the bottom of the box that we already made.
Okay, and now we're gonna add it the hair, or we're gonna slowly form the hair. Just get rid of this. Okay, and then I'm going to add a couple of teeth here. I'm having them very spaced out. And now for the inside here, I'm, um, I'm going to add a bit of like gums. So I'm having the bottom teeth here. Uh, not exactly connect to uh, this section here of the mouth, leaving some space. Okay. And now I'm going to add the gums. Obviously, we're going to add the tongue here. I'm adding some rolls in his eyes, or, or you could just call them the eyelids. Okay, and with that, uh, I'll start adding the hair. I'm having a bit of split here, right on his hair. So I feel like he would be the type to do that, you know. Sure, you could just take one comb and just comb it all back, but... It, you know, sometimes with some people's hairs, they split in the middle. So we're just gonna give Toffee that sort of style. And here, on the back of his neck, we're having his hair just is spiked.
Okay. And with that, we are good. I'll get started with inking out this drawing.
Okay, and with that, we can get started on inking. So what I'm gonna, what I'm doing a little differently uh, for Toffee is that obviously because he's reptilian, I'm gonna give him a bit of like reptilian scales all uh, all over like uh, his skin portion of his face. So I guess the best way to do that is to. Uh, I'll do an outline of like uh, the direction of how the scales are going to form around his face. Or like, um, like being aware of like every part of his cheekbones that like wave and turn. I'm having these lines um, follow it. Like I'm making it look like um, I'm having different sets of rolls, like cylinders, on his neck. Like as you can see, there's like different parts. Like this midsection is more closer to us than these two sections here. And the way I'm going to do these scales for scale toning on, on uh, lizard-like creatures is that I'm just going to have little lines. Give me a sec. Little lines. Like, I'm still following the pencil guidelines that I already made for myself. And I'm just going to have... make a pattern of, like lines with the uh, small spaces in between where later I will um, go like not go over them but add like a second set of lines not connecting them this is sort of like my style of um, lizard drawing I'm sure there's a name for it I just don't know where it is
I'm having the lines um, around his neck a little longer than the lines on his face because um, if you study or like uh, just find any image uh, image on off of Google um, drawings of uh, other people who have done like um, alligators or lizards or whatever you'll notice that um, there are there are a lot more lines more towards like the face area than like on larger parts of the body like the arms necks and like um, other sections like the smaller the body part the smaller the detail of scales that are on that section of uh, the reptilian like creature Okay, now I'm just going to do some quick um, details here on the hair before I start erasing all these lines. Now, um, it, so what I'm doing with this details for the hair is, I'm just using this point here as like my focal point. I'm just having all the hairs come out in that general direction, wrapping around his head. And thanks to the split points, I, I have like a, a, a second section that sort of uh, separates from this. Okay, now I'm just going to do some quick erasing. <sighs> oh yeah, I forgot to do a little detail here of like the gums in his mouth. I think I'll fill the inside of his mouth. Okay. Now I'll finally erase the rest of these markings. Got to do uh, the little, the little nails here on his fingers.
Okay. And I'll just come back here real quick. Now to add the second set of lines um, to this to like sure it looks fine now, but this extra set of lines help um, uh, might help improve what we have. Now in between each and every one of these breaks, I'm gonna add a second line that they don't connect. And now, thanks to these second set of lines, his uh, his skin texture looks more um, alligator-like now. I'm keeping sure that none of the lines um, actually touch each other. Okay, and uh, uh, okay, and then I'm gonna do the same for here. For his uh, hands.
and now adding the second set of lines. Uh, excuse me. Mm. Uh, give me a sec. Um, I think I'm getting a phone call. Okay, never mind, it actually stopped. Eesh. Okay, and with that, um, we can start uh, just doing our usual toning on uh, everything else. Like, excuse me, uh, on the rest of the suit. Like on certain sections where we'd be adding um, uh, tones to shadows. I'm using some cross-hatching here and there for certain sections of the suits. Okay. I'll do a bit of um, a different shade of tone. Since his um, tie is traditionally red, I'll make it the darkest uh, of the toning I have that I'm putting. I just keep these lines as close to each other as possible and just using one continuous strand of like uh, lines
Okay, so the next set of toning um, that I'm going to do is sort of like a, fills in the space where I do like just three three curved lines and then some space and the, then another three curved lines, three or four. What it does is it just fills in empty space. Even though I did already add like a certain section of the suit that's already uh, been toned, it I just feel like it helps add to the drawing. Um, you know, instead of just having like another set of tone all throughout the suit. Maybe I'll add a bit of toning in the back of the hairs here, add a bit of shadow here on his hair. And then maybe here on like um, the part of his hair that's um, separating. And then a little bit of toning just underneath the chin here. Maybe just a tiny bit of shadow just right here on the neck. And it's just a little bit here on the nose. And then this little, um, how do I explain it? It's uh, this little detail on teeth. Um, it's like a little shine. And then some toning inside the mouth as well. Little shadows around the tongue.
little bit of shadow here. Maybe some on the snout as well. Okay, and with that, we are good. Although, hmm. Just one last look before I, s before I officially say it's good. Ah, I forgot. Totally forgot to add a bit of uh, to uh, toning here around the fingers. Okay, so yes, now I am definitely certain uh, that we are good on this drawing. So yes, um, I completely forgot to pull up the um, the live stream, see if anybody left a comment. So yes, thanks for coming out. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Um, be sure to subscribe for more how to draw tutorials uh, and live streams. You know, like uh, feel free to leave a comment. Any other um, characters from the series Star vs. the Forces of Evil you would like to see me draw? Uh, leave a comment, um, and I'll see if I if uh, if I'll draw it. You know, if it's if it is an interesting character, sure, I'll make a video on it. Um, feel free to check out all my other stuff uh, on my social media. I have Twitter, Twitter, Tumblr. You know, you can find a scanned version of this drawing on my uh, on any of my social medias that I just uh, mentioned. Um, check out my Instagram. I it's a lot easier for me to just immediately post it instead of like scanning. So you might check, you might find it there uh, sooner than later, if you like to find it like now or whatever. Um, so yes, I'm also offering uh, another service um, where you can uh, do requests from get requests from me, um, or you can ask me. No, I should say, ask me for requests. Basically, you like the you like what I draw. You can ask me to draw. You know, on Fiverr. You know, I'd like. I created gigs where you can just uh, ask me to draw, you know, ask me to draw whatever character you would like, and um, I'll draw it for you, you know, for whatever price uh, that I already have pre-written on uh, on Fiverr. So feel free to check that out. Links to that in the description of this video as well. Um, so yeah, yeah, yes, and also uh, check out my comic. Uh, where is it? Uh, here we go. Check out my uh, my series, Don the Mask, uh, Volume One, Don the Mask, Volume Two. Um, detectives going out, uh, fighting bad guys, solving mysteries. Uh, if you think uh, if you think this type of series would be for you, then feel free to check that out. Links to this comic in the description of the video. Help support it. Help spread it. You know, spend a lot of time on that comic. So I'd like to see something come of it. So yes, thanks for coming out, and I hope to see you again in the next video.
Let me just pull this up so you get a good view of the entire drawing itself. So yes, hope to see you again in the next video. Bye!